Hey folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And we're TNT RVing. And we're back here at Avalon RV Center in Medina, Ohio, because look what just came in. This is a brand new build date of 5, 25, 23, a brand new Rockwood Mini Light 2205S with a brand new... The Master Volt Power Package. Yeah, with a lithium battery solar power package. The whole roof is all solar panels. We're really excited to There's show this There's actually too. five of them. Okay, but it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show you around. Okay, Tony. All right, we're going to take you around and show you what the brand new Rockwood 2205, and Tina was right, 525 2023. And this one has an empty weight of 5,355 pounds. So this has a little bit more than Bell does because of the Master Volt power package. So just be aware of that. Up front here, we got our dock light. And as you notice, we don't need our jumper box yeah, because we don't have batteries up front any longer. That's weird. Yeah. Beautiful front cap. Uh, Rockwood, they had kind of softened the front end of this, which we both agree we like. Mm -hmm. uh, no longer have the orange. You'll have to excuse this one. It just came in, so it has a lot of uh, road filth on it. But it has, of course, uh, the Lippert powder-coated frame, so that's going to be well protected. Two 30-pound propane bottles. Nice power tongue jack yeah that is the different coloring ours has the orange up top there but this is the and new this, color cord. this is interesting i think this is now um this diamond plate here this protected uh, this is actually feels like it's plastic it's no longer um the aluminum like we have okay. which is interesting so over here which is kind of funny if you still care to add an additional uh, solar panel here uh, you can do that. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but maybe but who it's possible knows? You may need to get extra, uh, you know, help there. At any rate, so the front compartment here. Here's your table. Of course, back there is a bag with accessories, your power cord, and different stuff there. And then, so we're inside the storage area here, and I wanted to share what the Master Volt lithium package looks like so first off you have your solar charge regulator so that takes all of the solar panel power and does its magic and will charge your 400 amp hour lithium battery that's that right there and then on the other side here we have what's called a combi master and that device is your 3000 watt inverter also it's a charger so when you're plugged into shore power that smart device will go ahead and take that power and also help charge your battery. And that's what the battery and stuff again look like. And one of the nice things here is this package does not take up too much space in the front storage area. So let's take you around and show you some other things. So right underneath here is your LP disconnect. Hopefully you can see that. Alrighty, so here's your rail, so we can put our shelf on here, or if you so choose, to put your griddle on, which we prefer to put ours on our table. Here's power, which is interesting, and you also have a oh, um, cable? for your, your cable. For outdoor cable. Yes, and one of the interesting things, too, is the television that's inside here is 12 volts, so it's not 120 volt television like we have. So, and here's a, a TV mount, or what we would use it for is our fan. Mm -hmm. Nice decal. Package. Yeah, that's kind of slick. Of course, your range uh, oven exhaust there. Like, keep that close. Weatherproof speakers, frameless windows, and look at these cool rims, aluminum rims. And it has tire pressure monitoring system. Of course, these are Goodyear. Endurance tires, they're uh, 14 inch, just like Bell has, which is nice. Of course, your steps here. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't have the, uh, the latch. latch. All right. Well, that we added. You can always add that latch. So these are nice. Step above. I'm right there. Okay. 
And what else do we want to show them? Low point drains are going to be down underneath here, which is fine. Yep, and there's this power, the, not the power stabilizers, <laughs> just the regular manual stabilizers. There you go. Let's take them up top and show them those cool solar panels. Okay. All righty, so up top here, we've got five 200 watt solar panels. Check that out. Maxer vent fan up, up front there. And we have this new Coleman Mach Q, and this has a built-in soft start, which is really nice because guess what? You get to run this AC on the solar package, which is slick. So there's your Wi-Fi Ranger, rear Maxer vent fan, of course your black tank and gray tank vents, and there's your shower dome. Back so, down on the ground, we've got a 250-pound capacity ladder. Here's our spare tire. I really like what they did here with the outdoor shower. So mm -hmm. it's actually in a place where we could utilize it safely. As opposed to next to the electric on the older Yeah, we styles. didn't really care for that. Yeah. But uh, you're already prepped for a rear camera. Oh, also back down here, we have a two inch uh, receiver and that's good up to a 300 pound capacity. Uh, and of course you got some storage in your bumper you need 30 amp power so that has a little different plug than what we do so that's a twist and lock your city water connection black tank flush antifreeze inlet you have your cable and your satellite uh, here's your water heater and this is a suburban water heater and this one doesn't have a switch on the the bottom here like ours does that you no longer need and one of the things i really like about this is with that we rv app you can control tina the water heater nice. from your phone you could activate or turn on your electric or even the gas which is kind of slick That's cool. lots of bells and whistles Alrighty, so underneath are your black and gray tank drains. And you also have uh, heating pads that are wrapped around the outlet there and also on the bottom of the tanks as well. And there's a little better view of the underbelly, Dexter torsion axles, never adjust brakes, which is nice. We have slide topper. Oh yeah. Nice. And then you come around here, you have your fresh tank drain also all the tanks here they have the heat pads on there and of course our slide here which is the rack and pinion slide Let's see this is the other side of the pass-through and like i said really that lithium package does not take up too much space which is good and over here yeah, fresh water freshwater fill. tank fill yeah. which that one's uh 52 53 gallon okay so very nice i'm gonna close this up and tina you want to take us around inside sure i would love to take everybody inside all right so come on inside check it out <laughs> this has got the really nice uh control panel that tony you can explain all that but it's pretty self-explanatory <laughs> yes one of the nice things, it has a motion sensor here, so Ooh. whenever you walk by it, it'll light up. So at night, it goes dark, which is nice as well. And Tina, if you hand me your phone, I'll show them some other neat things. So I went ahead and took a little bit of time, and I uh, actually hooked her phone up to the We RV, uh, app. The we RV app. Thank you. <laughs> so... Uh, what's neat is you could turn all the lights on, all the lights off if you need. You can uh, extend and retract the awning, the awning light, bedroom light, interior light, step light, water heater. You could turn your water heater on, the electric portion of it, or the gas, which is really slick. Your tank heaters and your water pump and your slide. Oh, also the the wi-fi booster so we're going to go ahead and turn on the interior lights and let's throw on the bedroom light as well so that's really kind of slick and you could also do all of that from the panel directly so tina why don't you take us around <laughs> and show us 
the rest of we do like this model this is the, the new model as opposed to ours but and i'll explain why we like it so much i like it because it actually i think looks a lot larger because they take out that wall and add that extra counter space but we're going to start here in the kitchen and here we've got the sink that's got the it's the dual sink with the nice faucet window blinds cabinet space up here they brought it closer together they're not so far apart still could bring it a little closer but that's nice storage space ha, can't talk nice storage space for sure it has this a uh, little cubby here for your scrub brushes or sponges or whatever in here are your nice big deep drawers which we use these for pots and pans as well as bowls and there's another one down here as well what's nice too is all the drawers are kind of centrally located they are and so we've got <laughs> your three drawers here for utensils so it's got nice counter space and what i really like too is and i think this is pretty standard in all the rockwoods now it's got the power station which not only is it a power station like tower for your like your coffee maker toaster what have you when it's down you can actually charge your phone on it so we like that little aspect of it my cover's a little heavy so there it goes <laughs> so now it's charging so that's pretty slick that's kind of cool because then we don't have to return power things if we don't if we forget them or what have you your magic chef microwave up here which is oh that's hilarious location. that's exactly like ours it's exactly like ours uh, oops. <laughs> now here you have your stove top which is really nice it's got little grippies on the side so i think it will travel very nicely i probably would still suggest you latch it down with a bungee cord but that's what that's, we do. That's what we do. But it does open nicely and stays up. And these now are separate. They're two separate things to oh, clean. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's kind of different. So you got that. And then you have the oven down here, which is nice. And actually, it's a pretty good size oven. Yes. It has light switch here, which I think is neat. You know, lights up, looks pretty slick. So here you have the extra counter space, which is really nice. You've got this added shelf type thing. You could put your your toaster or your Berkey or your coffee maker, or you could put nothing and have it <laughs> nice and clean. You also have a little extension here, which I don't think you really need, but it is nice to have. And there is a outlet under there as well. You also have a cabinet here, which you could put a lot of things oh, in. Oh yeah, there's actually plenty of storage in there, yeah. nice and wide. Put a lot of stuff in there for sure. Your fireplace is down here, which might be really nice. Might heat up your feet and the floor. Your television here. And that, once again, is a 12 volt refrigerator. I'm sorry, 12 volt refrigerator. <laughs> this and is that, a television. And once again, that is a <laughs> 12, 12 volt, volt television. television. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we also, Tony, do you want to show them real quick? It's getting a little warm in here to turn on the air. We can. Yeah. This is the best part of this unit. And We're it's getting hot. We're anything. not hooked up to, to any, any kind of power. shore power or anything, but we are getting warm. So let's come over here to the thermostat. Let's turn that on and get some air. We're gonna, well, we'll leave it at 60. Unfortunately, I wish they really would have put a digital thermostat there. Alrighty, so we're gonna run the AC for a little bit, cool this down and get back to the tour. So this unit has the nice blackout shades are very nice and do work. It has this nice privacy curtain, which believe it or not, this does filter the light. So it is really nice if your husband or partner gets up in the middle of the night and wants to watch TV. <laughs> you can like I normally do. And be very courteous to close that. Nice full queen bed with a uh, nice drawer here. Yeah, that's a 60 by 80 is yep. the dimensions in that. Closet space up here. You've got your other additional space here. I can't kneel because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I injured myself riding my bike, so we're not gonna do that. So, but this has the blackout shade now instead of that. The, what do you call it, accordion? The accordion one. So this, it latches to the magnet. Nice. Very slick. Actually, and that really keeps out the heat. I'm gonna leave that down. That's a good idea. So you come over here. So here you have your emergency exit window, which also has the blackout blind. You have two 
outlets, one over here and one over here, which is really nice because it oh, used like to they, be behind. Yeah, I like how they raised you that. you got a nice light switch here for your bedroom lights, which is now in a separate circuit, which I think is pretty slick. And your USB port here, as well as this is your little solar, or your little screen for your solar powered lithium battery things. <laughs> your masterful <laughs> your master power package control panel yes, here. And it has three pages. First page is your house battery, essentially status, temperature, voltage, um, the time that you have remaining on it. Second page is the combi master. So that's telling you what it's doing, inverting or charging or what have you. And uh, we've got 15 amp uh, that it's set to currently, which is kind of neat. So you click on this 15 amp, say you're at your home and you're on a, a 15 amp breaker, you don't want to allow this to pull 15 amps. You want to drop it down. You simply can lower that down to 10 amps. Hit the check mark there. Now the unit will only pull 10 amps. You'll no longer pop that breaker at 15 amps. Same thing you could uh, with your, if you're using a generator or something and you want to set that to 10 amps or 5 amps, or if you're at a campground, you want to bring it up to, you know, 25 amps or 30 amps, you have the ability to do that, which is really neat. So it maxes out at 30 amps because this is a 30 amp unit. So let's bring that back down to 15 amps as it was set to. And there you go. So then the third page is your solar. What's going on on the roof? And it's currently at float. Gives you the solar voltage, 17.0, I guess. Uh, 22 amps, which is really kind of slick. So let's go back to, oops, let's go back to this page here. This is your, your battery. We're a state of charge, 99%. I'm going to go ahead and turn the air conditioning on and let's take a look and see uh, the time remaining with air conditioning on. So once again, this unit, the air conditioner has a soft start built right into it, which is kind of nice. So you're not going to get that large surge of amperage to, to get that compressor going. And I have noticed this is a lot quieter than what we currently have in Bell. So, all right, right now, uh, it looks like we get about four and a half hours of usage. We'll leave that on and it may adjust. Let's go to the second page. Currently inverting, we got set till the, the 15 amp still. All righty. And uh, let's see the third page, which is our solar. So you can see that voltage is changing a bit. Let's see here, 25, 26, the current. And then look at this, this is your output. So 980 so watts, which is neat. All right, let's go back to that first page and see where we are. And actually that went up so it's currently at five hours so plenty of time to cool you down at any rate that gives you a, a brief introduction to this uh, master volt power package hopefully you got something out of this i'm going to go ahead and shut the ac off and then you want to put it off or stand by we'll just shut that off and cover, cover back, back on and we're good to go. It is in a but weird, that is, it is in a weird spot, but that's because your batteries are right below. Well, the, yeah, the whole package is right, right there. Underneath there, sure. So, yeah. so real quick, underneath the bed, and plenty of storage, along with, there's some drawers here as well. Uh, so here is the nice theater seating, which you know we love the theater seating. It's got the, the parachute pole for your lounging. Mm -hmm. Very lumbar nice. support yep. too right still yep. lumbar yeah support still. this millersburg collection they do a good job and this does fold up so you can use this set as a couch it will not pull into a bed though yeah. and you've got your cabinets here i'm not a fan of the way these open because i think yeah, we would have to add some sort of i would flip it i'd flip if it can. if you could or make it stay open but i do like the extra storage for sure yes. so 
you've got that. There is a little bit of storage behind there if you so choose to do that. But the reason we like the 2205S, right here, the pantry. It's phenomenal. You could use this Lots for of storage in here. food, clothing, whatever you want. So right. it is pretty nice. And your water heater is under here. And of course they put a panel there to kind of protect it. And you know, I would remove that. Here's your thermostat. They did change out the fixtures and oh, I yeah. do like this a lot better. But the bathroom is, is really nice. You've got your, your shower doors with your water miser shower. What's it called? Shower, shower miser. <laughs> So your shower miser with your dome here, and it does have the medicine cabinet. Again, really nice new fixtures, which I like a lot. Right. So. And I don't know if I'm loving that outlet right next to the sink there. I know it's a little wonky. Ours is over here. It's a no, wonky. ours is on the cabinet. That's right above the cabinet. Oh, that's right. That's... It is. It's over here. Yeah. So this is your suburban griddle. And here's what is underneath the sink there. And your water pump and stuff's behind there. But plenty of room for storage in here as well. And in here also, again, great storage. That's one of the neat things about this for yeah. sure. They do have a lot of storage. It does have dual Max Air Van fans. I didn't point out the one over the bedroom, but or over the bed. There's one there and the hot one here as well. Toilet with the soft clothes. And that's different. That's, uh, I'm not sure what model toilet that is, but. No, it is different. Has a different foot flush, but I like it. It does? Oh, it does. It has a wide, pa a wide mm -hmm. paddle. A little different. Cool. So, underneath the refrigerator here, here's your breaker panel and fuse panel. And right there's your CO detector. So here's your Magic Chef refrigerator. Same as ours, which, again, we love. This is nice. Except it's flipped. The door's flipped. Right. But, so uh, if you're wanting to get a beer from outside, you're going to have to come, come in. in. And then, yeah. Or I'll just flip the doors. Or we just if we decide to do right. that. He's uh, talking <laughs> like he wants this unit. So there you go. Nice. Nice size. Same with the freezer as well. Yeah. Ooh, that feels good. Nice and cool. Mm. Yep. And last but not least, you've got your, your, what I call the entryway closet. But you could put anything in here. I usually take these shelves out so I can hang things. But... Um, great storage we love this unit because of the great storage definitely has a Tony lot of likes storage this unit because of the solar the solar package <laughs> the solar package will come in handy when we're harvest hosting for those evenings and yeah. you don't really want to drag out the generator this will more than take care of that uh, nice. for sure so for several days yep so at any rate i hope you found this video helpful we're entertaining. Uh, <laughs> and appreciate you watching. If you haven't already subscribed to TNT RVing, appreciate it if you would. And if you're interested in this unit or any other units on the Avalon RV website, please give them a call and we'll see you at the campground. TNT.